the property dialog in PSCAD has a new look and feel. To illustrate this, let's have a look at the synchronous machine from our master library. We're going to simply double click on it to see its properties. Here, you can see that the categories are now organized in a tree on the left hand side. You can simply click through each of the categories to see the parameters and edit them. The toolbar also has some new functionality. Let's go over some of them. You can view the properties by clicking this button. Here you have a full display of all the parameters of this component. You can also view the graphics and the expressions used to define them, the ports of this component, computations, and any failures. If you enter any parameters incorrectly, they will show up here as failures. The toolbar also has a button where you can export all your parameters and it'll be saved as a .csv file. You can edit this .csv file externally and then you can re-import all the parameters. Let's have a quick look at that. You can see here the machine name is George. We're going to go ahead and we're going to import some parameters that I previously saved and edit it. Once I've imported the new parameters, you can see the machine name was changed to Sync1. The last feature I want to show you is the ability to view component data. This particular component has a saturation curve, which is defined by the currents and voltages in this table. You can edit these values individually, and you can click the arrow here to visualize the data. This graph is live, so if we were to go and change the value here, you can see the graph changing in real time. This has been a brief summary of the new property dialog. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.